think it's any good to begin with. In our last video, we finally gave a detailed tour of our tiny camper. In this video, we make a couple of small mods to our camper before taking it out for the first time in 2022. That's not good. <laughs> Snow's gone, and we're in the tiny camper, and we are going to get it ready for hopefully taking it out this weekend for the first time. Yeah. We've got a few things we want to do. Oh, I forgot a towel. Oh, you brought one. Good. Good. So I want to explain. When we when we picked up the camper down in, what was it, North Carolina? I've already forgotten. Yes. Okay. We it didn't have any curtains or curtain rods, so we brought towels and a string and command strips to so that we could stay overnight on the way back and just use hang a towel over the string and use that as a curtain for the night. So just like that and it kind of hung there we had one in the middle as well but you know that's that was temporary that was meant for one night but it ended up being the rest of the summer <laughs> we bought some curtain rods and my mom made some drapes for us curtains and we just sort of balanced them up in there like that and i never turned the, <laughs> the command strips around um we just never got around to it we were too busy doing other stuff so i'm gonna attempt to turn those around now Command strips are awesome because you can put them up, take them down, move them around, and it's like no harm, no foul. The one difficulty I might have is I did not read the instructions before putting up the command strips. And on one of them, I put, I think, the wrong sticky part on the wall. Oh. So that, that might not work. So okay. We'll find out. That's not good. <laughs> oh. Thanks to YouTube, supposedly taking some fishing wire and sliding it back here will help us. Just like that. Ta da! That comes off. Ta da! Yeah. Now they won't stay there when we ride. We take them down and set them on the seat while we ride down the road but for while we're camping this will be good the camper came with this cable attached to for our breakaway cable so that if the trailer were to come unattached it would yank this out of here and it would immediately lock up the brakes on the, on the camper now this, this is kind of just inconvenient, so I bought a new coiled cable to hook up with a nice strong latch on it. Which this one we lost the latch, and so we didn't. It wasn't really doing us any good to begin with. Just that last year. trip. Yeah. yeah. I guess I just pull this out of here. I guess I got to cut this. What is that? Is that a wire cutter? Or? No. I think that's gonna work. I never seem to have the right tool for the job. I have a lot of tools, but I never seem to have the right tool for the job. Or I can't find <laughs> the right tool for the <laughs> that job. That could be one. Let's see. Well, we'll just see if the, there we go, Ooh, that works that nice. Could have been. Perfect. Just like that. There. And then that should be strong enough. And that'll hook up to the back of the bumper nice. for the hitch. Yay. Yay. Two things down. Yeah. It's 30 
36 degrees and we're going to make dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to dethaw our, our frozen food that we froze at home and brought it with us frozen and it's kind of hard to dethaw. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have froze it. <laughs> but this is this is a part of tiny camping. You don't have a kitchen inside your camper. Kind of relying on the outdoor. Oops. I'm just freezing. Yeah. <laughs> we make our food at home and then warm it up here. Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> we are at Fort Custer State Park um, in Augusta, Michigan, which is not far from Battle Creek. Oh, and Gull Richland, Richland, Gull Lake area. Yep. And it's today is April first. First. Wow. And does that make us fools for being here <laughs> doing this? <laughs> we should have known. <laughs> yeah, but it's April first, and so um, we haven't been camping since the end of November. Yeah, you would have last seen us two weeks ago in our video, but. For us, that was back in November, so we're talking five-ish months ago. Yeah. So this is really just a way for us to kind of push ourselves out of our comfort zone and get us back out camping and seeing things and getting off the couch. <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's, you know, all winter long, it's been... Uh, cold and snowy and gloomy right. and easy to you know binge watch all the tv shows <laughs> which we've been doing <laughs> which we've been doing <laughs> yeah so we're this is yeah it's kind of like starting all over again in a way um had some of the same feelings when we first set foot in this camper um had those same feelings again this time I was like, wow, so, that's a tiny camper. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> so, but yeah, but uh, we went out for a hike today and it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You know, it's still cold. It's, you know, it was snowing this morning when we left. So if that tells you anything. trip up here to the, the Kellogg Bird Sanctuary. We've been here before and we have a video on that too that you can check okay. out. But I'm playing with a new toy. I upgraded my camera so I'm just trying to see what I can learn and, and uh, just had a little fun with it. Yeah. So. You can probably hear what he's going to be taking pictures of in the background. <laughs> yeah. Got some swans around here some ducks some geese that's what i've seen so far yeah but oh and we heard some or saw some herons blue herons fly overhead those were nice and loud and yeah pretty pretty cool to watch How you doing? I'm okay, a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chilly day. It's in, it's in the 30s here at the Kellogg Bird Sanctuary. 38. Yeah. So it was fun. I, I think I got some good shots. Good. I won't know till I get home and process them, but I think I did okay learning this new camera. If I got anything good, I'll, I'll post them, but we'll see. No, it was a nice way to spend the uh, late morning, early afternoon. And then 
there's also some, they call it dry sledding, basically dog sledding um, back at the campground, which is going on today and tomorrow as well. So we'll hopefully get to see some of that. We'll, we'll go check it out. Yeah, the Fort Custer State Park has two different loops in their campsite, campground. And one of the loops was reserved for this. It's called Mush, which yeah. is the event that they're having this weekend. And all sorts of sled dogs in there. So yeah. that was kind of neat. Some of them looked really pretty, like oh, hot husky dogs. Oh yeah, gorgeous dogs. Yeah. Couple different lakes here at the at uh, Fort Custer State Park. They got a ton of trails. They have equestrian trails and mountain biking trails, hiking trails, multi-use trails. Multi-use <laughs> trails. Yes, yeah. they have a. It's a pretty big area. I forget how many acres. I think it said 3,000, but we can confirm that. How did you sleep last night? I slept really well once I fell asleep. Yeah. yeah it, it took me a long time just trying to get used to sleeping in the camper again. It's been <laughs> so long. Yeah. Um, plus, the getting the temperature right inside for us was a little difficult. We have a heater that blasts out a lot of heat, but... It was also, I think, less than 20 degrees Fahrenheit last night. And you kind of have to have the windows open, cracked open just a little bit to get fresh air in there so you don't suck up all your oxygen breathing and wake up with a headache. Right. Um, Which I think we've done before. I think so. I think we, we have had some headache issues waking up in there, and I think it's because we just need more need more fresh air yeah so yeah but last night we had our max air fan open just a tiny bit it wasn't it, running right but the it was open so a little bit of air could come through that way mm -hmm. and then we had each of the windows we each have a window that's on our side of the camper we had each of them open a little bit too so that fresh air could get drawn kind of circulate through the camper so the air that came in was frigid yeah but and the heater air was hot but somehow you put it all together and it was very comfortable yeah i had i didn't have that many blankets on i no. had some but and there were times when i got a little chilly so i put more on and i'd take them off later but yeah i was super comfortable more so than at home actually wow. <laughs> yeah so it was it, it, was it worked nice. out it worked out that the that little camper, that's the thing about tiny campers, they heat up quickly. So, I mean, the one issue that you have to watch out for is some condensation. Right. But having the windows cracked open seemed to alleviate that. So that went in a lot better than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do differently? Well, we thawed it out in the car, <laughs> which was we warmer pulled, all day. We pulled it out much, much earlier. And yeah, just let it thaw in the car all day long. Yeah. So we're actually at a pavilion. It's the Prairie, it's the Prairie View picnic area. We chose to eat here instead of the campsite because last time we were at the campsite a couple hours ago, it was covered in bugs. Tiny little, it's tiny little, yeah, bugs. So we decided we wanted to try to eat somewhere without the bugs. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah, it's a little chilly, a little breeze. There's some rain coming in. Right. It's so we're we're gonna uh, warm it up here and eat in the car. Yeah. yeah. But this is pretty, you know. This park, we've just been driving around and looking at some of the stuff and we see how much fun it would be in the summer. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's still great right now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's off season, it's quiet, it's 
peaceful and we're, we're enjoying ourselves. Sure. But we can really see what, what how, you know, the potential for all the fun people have here in the summertime. Right, yeah. There's a whole equestrian area. There's mountain biking area. Yep. There's two campgrounds. There's a beach. Lots of nature areas. Yeah, there's the, I don't know, maybe you just said this, but the, the equestrian area has an equestrian campground as well. Yeah. And so and there's a huge parking lot for the horse trailers and there's places to hitch the horses. And, and water the horses. Water them and all of that. Looks yeah. Like they have probably some events at certain times of the year. I've never seen a campground with all of those amenities for the different types of activities. Right. What you doing? Got away from them, so picking it up. Good job. Trying to leave it better than what we found it, right? You bet. Good job. Is it yummy? It's delicious. Is it hot? It's it's hot, but not as hot as last night. It was a little bit too hot. <laughs> is it warming you up? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm God. feeling nice, feeling Good. cozy. One thing we should mention about this park, I don't know if we have yet, is it's open year round, which is not very common for campgrounds in Michigan. Mm. There's only a handful of Michigan state parks that are open year round. And I, I don't know about RV parks and that sort of thing either. I don't think those are much either. Right. So. I can't imagine the demand would be very high for them. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of winter campers. So it is open year round, but all they have are pit toilets this right. time of year and electricity. They don't have the modern restrooms open this time of year. No, those are closed as well as the, uh, the dump station, which doesn't affect really affect us too much but other than the modern bathroom really affects us well yeah that would be nice <laughs> that would be nice the pit toilets are you know they're pit toilets talking about bathroom stuff while we eat <laughs> good food yeah i'm just <laughs> so hungry now <laughs> you're the one that brought it up oh <laughs> uh, well i just i, I know I, I i think of weird things at those strangest times but. <laughs> Sounds like we're getting closer to the dogs, honey. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Twice a year in April and November, the Mid-Union Sled Haulers, aka Mush, hold their dry land races at Fort Custer. The events are open to the public and they're quite fun to watch. And I think the dogs have as much fun as the spectators. Watching them was a nice surprise for our first time out in 2022. Getting outdoors in cold, wet weather is not exactly something that comes naturally to us, but we were sure glad we did. It was a great start to our 2022 camping season. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video as we head to Holland State Park, where we discuss the unexpected benefits of tiny camping. You may be surprised at what we come up with. Thanks for watching. And until next time, go out and live your best life, one adventure at a time.